Hello guys and welcome to AVK App Reviews. Today we are going to see the review of Dirty Unicorn ROM for Nexus 5 based on Android 7.1.1. First of all, Happy New Year guys and thank you for your support throughout 2016. This is my first ROM review of 2017 and plenty of them are on their way in this year. So always stay tuned to AVK app reviews. So I wanna start this year with something solid and trustworthy. And Dirty Unicorn ROM is the best way to start. Dirty Unicorn ROM community is there for long time providing best ROM for our Nexus 5 with each new iteration of Android. So today we are going to see all the aspects of Dirty Unicorn ROM version 11 which is based on Android Nougat that is Android 7.1.1. Now installation of Dirty Unicorn ROM is very simple. You just have to get the latest official ROM file from Dirty Unicorn's download page. And for gapps, Bank's dynamic gapps are recommended but you can also use open gapps if you want. After that, just flash the ROM file and the gapps in the recovery and you will have Dirty Unicorn ROM on your device. Also this ROM is pre-rooted, so no need to flash SuperSU externally. Now on a first boot, you will get all the basic AOSP apps with this ROM. If you want pixel experience with this ROM, then you can check out my video linked up here for detailed instruction on that. Now let's go into settings and check out the Android version for this ROM and it's Android 7.1.1. The build number for this ROM is version 11 and the build date is 23 December. Dirty Unicorn ROM is always known for its tons of customization options. So let's check out what Nougat version of Dirty Unicorn offers. In settings menu, you will find a section called Dirty Tweaks. This is the home for all the customization options on this ROM. Here under System tab, you will find options like Expanded Desktop, Power Menu. Then under Status Bar tab, you will find options for Battery, Carrier Label, Notifications, Clock and Date, Quick Setting Panel, Status Bar Items, and Traffic Indicators. Under Navigation, you will find Buttons and Navigation Bar Customization options. In Navigation Bar, you can select different modes like Smart Bar and Fling and also you can enable Pulse Graphic Equalizer on Navigation Bar. Then under Multitasking tab, you will find options for Recents Menu and Omni Switch. Now if you don't know about Omni Switch, it is an alternative option for Recents Menu. It looks something like this. So you can easily scroll through apps. You can also call it as a Smart Recents Menu. Also there are some options like LED lights and wake up on plug available under display settings. So as you have seen, there are tons of customization options available on Dirty Unicorn ROM. Dirty Unicorn ROM used to have CM theme engine till the marshmallow iteration. But in this version of Dirty Unicorn ROM, you have substratum with full OMS support. So you can use any substratum theme with this ROM because it has all the OMS commits included. Right now, substratum is the best way to theme your device. There are lots of themes available on Play Store. So I am very happy with the Dirty Unicorn decision to go with substratum on their Nougat iteration. So till now, we have seen what Dirty Unicorn ROM offers. Now let's check out how Dirty Unicorn ROM performs in day-to-day -day usage. So I have been using this ROM for nearly 3 weeks now. It's been a very great experience. Dirty Unicorn ROM is very snappy and fluid in every operation. Gaming on this ROM is a good experience. Also in multitasking, ROM performs very well. Multi-window mode is snappy and works very well with all the apps. Camera works perfectly with the provided camera app. Also video recording works perfectly with the default camera app. So Dirty Unicorn ROM is stable to use as a daily driver on your Nexus 5. Now in terms of battery performance, Dirty Unicorn ROM is very good. As this ROM is based on AOSP, 
I have tested battery performance of this ROM with stock kernel and three custom kernels that is Elemental S kernel, Franco kernel and Blue Spark kernel. So here are the battery stats for stock kernel and here are the battery stats for three custom kernels. So all the kernels including stock kernel provides nearly same battery stats. The highest SOT we got here is 3 hours and 16 minutes with Blue Spark kernel and the average SOT for this ROM is 3 hours and 5 minutes. So if I would have to choose one kernel for best performance and battery life, I would go with the Blue Spark kernel. Dirty Unicorn ROM and Blue Spark kernel will provide you one of the best ROM experience. So it's time for my final thoughts about Dirty Unicorn ROM version 11. As it comes to the AOSP Nougat ROM, Fake Nexus ROM was my favorite ROM till now. But Dirty Unicorn ROM has changed my mind completely. This ROM is snappy, fluid, good in gaming and multitasking and also have great battery life. And with the inclusion of Substratum with full OMS support, this ROM has got first spot in my AOSP Nougat ROM list. So I will recommend that every Nexus 5 user should try this Dirty Unicorn ROM on your device. So to sum it up, here are the pros and cons for Dirty Unicorn ROM. Although I can't find any negative point with this ROM, if you can find any, let me know in the comments below. So with this, I am gonna wrap my review of Dirty Unicorn ROM based on Android 7.1.1. What do you think about this ROM and my slightly different review style? Let me know in the comments below. Smash the like button below if you find this video informative. Share this video and subscribe to my channel for more such video. You can follow me on Google Plus, Twitter and Facebook. Thank you for watching this video. I will see you in my next video.